Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all doing? Hopefully pretty good. Um, sorry for the late start. It's like 3.30 a.m. here on the East Coast. Um, I don't know. I didn't get free, like, with Kayla in the bed and everything like that until, like, 1.30. And then I just chatted with... Oh, baby. Chatted with a few of the guys and did my, my emails and stuff like that because I haven't been on the computer all day. And here we are. I kind of want to do a challenge, I think. Unlock some stuff. Uh, yeah, let's start with a challenge. So I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming tonight. Um, what's this one? Okay, so I got poop bombs. Number one, which is fun. I like number one a lot. And then I got like a spoon. Poop Bombs is nice, um, like, I mean, I think it's a good ability, also it's just nice because we get, like, five bombs, which that is almost worth blowing up for bombage. Let's see what we get out of those. We got tons of bombs, actually. Hmm, I don't think we're going to get any item rooms, so, we'll see how this blows up. Nothing. It was worth a shot. Yeah, I'm hoping we can get at least, like, two good runs. Um, just because, again, I'd, I'd like to get some unlocks. It'd be nice. Uh, and I do want to stream tonight. But it's just how late I'll be up. Uh, all depends on uh, how much energy I have. You know what I mean? Some days, even if I'm, like, you know, wide awake, I just don't have as much energy as I do on other days. If you know what I mean. Sucks, but it's the way she goes. Holy shit. Right, let's check this bad boy out. Oh. Um. Well, that's not what I wanted. I definitely wanted the boss room item. And, uh, whatever would have got for the devil option. That might have screwed us. I might have to restart depending on what item we get here. I mean, bomb for two bombs. That's pretty good. I don't think I can get both of these. Let's try. Uh, no, you can't. That's okay. He is good. Aw, oh, that's annoying. Well, there goes my devil chance. Yeah, I think we I think we might just do a quick restart for that one there. Just because that was my bad. I thought that was gonna be one of the secret rooms. Uh, occasionally you get like um I don't know how to describe it, but it's like you know those like rooms. You get like an item and you go down the staircase. It's like a very Zelda 2 kind of level. That's what I thought we were in for. Um, except for the haze. Like, the haze is kind of cool. It's a nice looking effect. Uh, I'm not a fan of it because for some reason it makes it like harder for me to, to see. But I do really like the look of this. I don't know, whatever this type of floor is called. But I think it looks nice. I really do need to learn all these enemy names. It's like, what's this guy called? I don't know. It's kind of cool, though. Also, a little bit unfortunate. Um, I think those guys have a range attack. I just don't remember how it works. And since we have number one, I'm going to be killing all the fires and poops. Normally, I don't. Um, just in case, so, like, I'm not super interested in it. I don't know. Nice. Like, it just takes too much time, because I like to go fast. But, all that said, um, with number one, like, you attack so fast, like, I feel like it doesn't really harm me. Like, if I had Brimstone or something, I'd be like, nah, I'm not wasting my time doing that. So, shot height is a stat. We've seen a few things that increase shot height. 
Uh, okay. I mean, those are both nice pills to have in the pool. So I'm happy for that. And we found them early on. Um, okay, this is a really nice encounter for us, actually. So I believe how Lust works is she moves faster um, the longer she continues moving in a straight line. Uh, the virus is not so good. I mean, it is. It's it's okay. It's a solid item. It's just not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for, like, steroids or something. But you do always get some sort of... Um, I don't even think she can give you steroids. She, she definitely has... Um, it, one of the needle items. And these guys have a lot of health. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. And that's uh, kind of the thing that annoys me. I've talked about that. Is I don't like the just random, like no, the non-telegraphed attacks. I find them a little bit frustrating. All for telegraphed attacks, though. All for bosses that have bullet hell and crazy to dodge stuff. As long as I, I know it's coming. But when they just like spaz do something, yeah, that's unfortunate. So I lost my double room because of that. Essentially. Arcade? That's nice. I'm not sure how other unlocks work in Isaac. So, for example, to get Samson, it's don't take damage for two floors. I don't know how that works with the... Um... It's such an annoying one to get as well. Um, I don't know how that works with challenges. Like, I don't know if you can unlock them. But yeah, what, it's so annoying. Like the, I have a couple of the achievements um, unlocked, like on Steam, not on this file. But for the like, uh, beat the like beat the first two levels or beat the basement without taking damage, stuff like that. I have a couple of those unlocked. I'm not sure which ones. I think the basement and Mom's heart, uh, but it could be the Necropolis. One, one of those. Anyway. And they're, it's, they're not the end of the world. Like, you can do them. Obviously, you have to be pretty decent at the game. But the problem with them is, is the way they trigger. So, Devil Room items are, like, the best items in the game. I mean, aside from some copper items. Uh, I've been pretty lucky with getting poop out of this. Oh, right, because we start with Petrified Poop. Ah. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely worth breaking all this stuff. Especially like that Eternal Heart. We'll keep him in mind. But the thing is, so if you take a Devil Room deal, that counts as taking a damage, which I think is really stupid. Um, it shouldn't, because it's not, but it is what it is. It also means you can't use any Blood Machines. Um, there's a lot of unfortunate restrictions on it, like... Which, like, Blood Machines makes Hello. That's kind of cool. This is a pretty, pretty decent item, I must say. I think the poop shovel, I, I have no idea what the item's called. I think the poop shovel just simply um, kills every enemy on screen. Which, I mean, that's a pretty good sounding ability. I was kind of hoping the secret room was there. Wasn't sure if that was gonna work though, bombing that wall. Really short floor, actually. Uh, okay, let's go beat the boss, see what we're dealing with, and then we'll come back. Oh, we got a cute little poop backpack, I just noticed. Uh, I don't know what that does. Shiny rock. Probably coins for breaking rocks, potentially. Hey, Monstro. How you doing, buddy? The fire rate on this is so nice. I mean, the range is a problem, but the, the weird thing is, like... Yeah, obviously, Azazel with his little mini brimstone. That's, like, really powerful, right? But, like, I would rather number one than I would Azazel's power. I don't know why that is, but that's just how I feel. Devil room. Uh, that's terrible. Uh, I mean, now we have a chance of a god room in the pool, so that's kind of cool. 
I guess. I may just go into the... Well, we're definitely gonna check the shop, though. Uh, there's some good pills, so Mom's purse could be cool. Potentially. So you might wonder why I took that. Uh, it's because I'm just gonna go into the arcade and just blow everything up and leave. That's my plan for that. It's a really good arcade, too. But that's okay. It might seem like a bit of a waste, but there's nothing to buy on this floor of the shop. And uh, we didn't take damage, so we are going to see if we can get the Samson unlock. We'll check for the secret room, why not? We'll see if we can get... No, okay, never mind. We're going to see if we can get the Samson unlock through challenges. Just means next floor I have to make, not take damage or... Well, one of the floors leading up to Mom. Which, interestingly enough, actually... The shovel is a really good way of doing that. Um, I couldn't take the devil deal though because that would, of course, count as taking a damage. But the shovel would be a really easy way of um, reliably beating a floor without taking damage. I don't know if it like triggers it though. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you may need to fight the boss, uh, but I'm not sure. Because if you don't have to, yeah, the shovel is probably your best bet there. This is a very annoying one here. So I, I don't know these enemies well enough to know how their attacks work. Are they on a huge timer? Am I safe to stand there? A lot of questions. Uh, definitely going to blow these up, though. Because, like I said, there's some good pills in the rotation. And I think it's safe to not... Oh, shit. I was just talking about not taking damage and we get skeletons. As you guys know of my existence. I really have trouble uh, dodging their attacks, especially with low range. Although you can you can kind of cheese uh, Isaac's range. If you run in the direction of your uh, attacks, like your tears, you will sort of like artificially increase the range by like slingshotting them. And you can see it actually worked out there, so that's good. We got a good chance of a devil deal here. That's exciting. Okay. I I had a feeling this wasn't the right way, but still got to try it, you know. That enemy is so well designed because you want to like run away from him, right? Um, like he's gonna charge straight at you, so you kind of want to run on an angle to avoid him. But when you kill him, he fires off at an angle. I don't know, I think that's very, very well done. That's not too bad. Zaka doesn't actually hurt you. Which I'm really glad I found that out. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna assume it's bottom. Okay, so we really just need like a damage up. We have insane shot speed. I don't think number one is... Oh, fuck. I think it's bullshit we took damage there, but that's okay. I mean, I was in range. It's just bullshit that he, he managed to die like, right then. Ah, <sighs> Libby. Liberty Cap's pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, I think it counts as taking damage. Which is kind of stupid, but I'm pretty sure it does. Because there's the the one effect that gives you a heart it doesn't fill it, it just gives you like a heart container. Uh, I guess this is okay, I don't think I would have been able to beat this boss without taking damage anyway. I'm not going to take much, but it, it's very likely I take a damage. Actually, maybe, maybe I would have been okay. Yeah, that's frustrating. Oh well. Oh, he spawns these. Okay. Oh, there you go. 
The answer is no. I didn't realize he spawned these enemies, and they're quite annoying. Yeah. So, who is a boss that I can reliably beat without taking damage? It's coming up. Super annoying. Um, so we lost our Devil Deal chance, sadly. Right at the end there. Um, is there anything worth? No, I'll check the pills out, right? Best is cool. Amnesia. Yeah, that's alright, we can just leave that. So we know three good pills in the pool, which means it's likely every other pill is bad. Or just doesn't do anything. Which, if you're not doing anything, meh. Also, uh, it's funny to note, like, all our items give shot, uh, shot fire rate up. I forget. I don't know a good way of saying it. Play a little passive here. And I still don't know these bats. They're like a new enemy. To me, anyway. So I'm not sure what triggers them to fire. That's handy dandy. Even handier goes straight to the curse. Do we take that? Potentially, it's a floor without taking damage, right? Sure. I don't know, again, I don't know if that works for the trigger. Uh, that's officially two floors with no damage. It's for me. Uh, this is. What the shit? Guys, that's not right. What the fuck? What's happening here? <laughs> what is this? I mean, that's, I guess, my range solved. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure I liked it, though. It's kind of scaring me. I wonder how that would have worked with Tim. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. That's good damage here. Oh, cool. We spawn poops on taking damage. And there goes my devil deal. I wasn't paying attention. I was noticing the uh, bullshit happening. Uh, this is going to be just an annoying room. It's not the end of the world. Whoa, wait. The enemies turn into poops. Huh, that's interesting. Damn. I'm not sure what's making them drop black hearts, but I like it. Like In that case, it's actually kind of worth it to get hit by every single one. Like, I mean, if I could reliably have them all turn to black hearts, that'd be nice. If I had, like, a couple more bombs, I'm probably not going to use them all before we finish anyway. I should have just bombed a few of the rocks at the start to avoid damage, but I already took damage on this floor. I wasn't too concerned about taking a little more. Yeah, these enemies are pretty fun, guys. You should try them in your own game. I don't know, it's really easy to complain about some of the enemies. But I think, like, mixing these guys up, like, putting, like, one or two of them in a room is, like, one thing. But having them is, like, yeah, like, the only enemy. This is just bad luck that we're getting them in every room. But you know what I mean. Um, I don't know, I don't find them overly engaging. Well, that works. No idea what that does. Buy it. Oh, potato peeler. Well, at least we know, I guess. That's really annoying. Spawn an enemy that, like, made it so my shots couldn't, like, attack it. Not the end of the world, though. I think we're pretty good for Mum's Heart. Or, uh, well, we just have to fight the foot, right? Yeah. Holy shit, though. Th this is, like, the weirdest RNG. Why is every room these guys? I guess that one room wasn't. 
I don't remember it being. And I know, like, so those guys right here, like the one walking, he's called a knight. I do remember that, but I don't remember what the, like, if there's a separate name. Wait, these guys can move, or that's what I just I was kidding. I don't know. I don't know if there's a separate name for, like, the head, the one that's just a head. This floor is crazy. I actually have zero idea. Zero idea where the boss is. This floor just keeps going. Oh, there we go. That's annoying. Okay. Well, I mean, we still got a 36% chance. Double deal would be nice, though. And I'm gonna assume that skipping a floor does not uh, trigger Samson, or you're just not allowed to do that in a challenge. Uh, both of which of those suck. For me, anyway. Because then I could have fought the boss there and maybe got a half decent item. So right now, we, um, again, we just don't have any damage. If we got like one damage up, it would be so big for us. I forget if Monster can kill them with his own brimstone. I know some enemies can kill them with their own attacks. I think his stomp kills them. Because it kind of looked like his brimstone was killing it there. I don't know. It looks like. Oh yeah, Monstro 2 just does like... Is he like a champion version? Because he's doing like a full heart of damage. Just like his regular attacks. But he doesn't look like a champion version? I don't know. I was just about to say, I wonder if this pills a health up and I took it and it was a health up. It's pretty funny. I kind of think the super secret room is right here. I don't know why I thought that. Holy shit. Um, I don't think I can get them all with one, can I? Oh, I didn't even need to. Oh, shit. So. Wait, how did this one not die? A bomb exploded another bomb on top of it. That was really fucky, actually. Weird. Okay. Can we go to the shop this level? No. It's probably greed. Um, so probably not worth trying for. Maybe, though. We got we got some money. Maybe we just cut our losses, try and get out of here. Yeah, I think we should have. Well, I have to save my bombs for mom herself, sadly. Again, I'm just just a little lacking on damage. It's gonna make things a bit difficult. It's okay. Not too interested in that thanks game. We didn't find the secret room yet. It's not there. Yeah, there's a couple places it could still be. We'll just pass then. Oh, no, no, we did go to the shop. That's right. We bought the potato peeler, and it was, like, useless, I guess. We don't know what it does. That's fine. Um, that was pretty tempting, because, again, there, we do know there's a couple good pills in rotation. one of those rooms like it's not like it's just it's, it's like kind of stressful because they move a lot but mostly it's just oh shit <laughs> oh there you go 
you got for me? Infested? Hey, there's our power pill. It makes me feel very good. It's just a nice room. I mean, it's a lot easier to stand here, actually. Okay, blood machine. There's some hearts back, anyway, which is nice. Another arcade. If we weren't trying for the Samson thing, uh, man, we could have done some shenanigans with an arcade. We can do it this time, though. Uh, we do have the power pill, but I think I want to hold off on it. Yeah, like, I think we've got, like, all the good possible pills right now, you know? I mean, there's a lot of that pill, so... It'd be kind of nice. A dollar? Wowza. I mean, if you could spawn a shitload of health, we could go for blood bag. Which should be pretty fun. And you just know it's greed, right? You know if we get a shop after getting the dollar, it's greed. No way it isn't. Oh, we're gonna get Skatoli. No? Okay, cool. I'm tempted to take these pills here. Oh. Tears. Tears. Pretty sure, like, I'm already at max tier rate, but... Why not, game? So, to those that don't know, this isn't a real shell game, like a lot of games. It's not. It's just a 33% chance. Like, I don't, I don't even think the one you pick matters. I think it literally just rolls, like, a 1 in 3. Um... When you touch him. Which is one of those things, it's a little frustrating, I guess, but it's not the end of the world. It feels good when you can, like, look at a shell game and see the answer. You know? But. It'd be a lot harder to code something like that, and this just works fine. It's just another game, like, mechanic. Oh shit. Well, the blood machine's still alive. That's a bonus. I mean, we don't need the money. We're just trying for the blood bag. No. Well then, uh, if we're super lucky, we go to the shop get money as power. But uh, a, I don't think I'm that lucky. And b, um, I don't know if we've unlocked money as power. I feel like that's something you have, you have to get by beating the game with a character or something. But yeah, now we're looking pretty good. Again, just damage would be like incredible. Dodge that shot. The bastard. There's my little gishes. Like our range isn't even bad or anything, and I think we just have the default range you get with um. Number one. No, our range is insane, actually. Yeah, why is it so... I have no idea what's making it so long. It's probably whatever was bugging out, um... Or Boros earlier. Luck up. No idea why we got a luck up. Yeah, you bastard greed. It would be you. I can't be mad, because I knew it was going to happen. But I mean, I just wanted a shop with something good in it. Man, if the shop had the habit, that would actually be really good. With this, uh... Oh, Steam Sale. Wow, is that... It's always funny when they spawn Steam Sale on the last possible shop. Which I feel like is most times. I don't know what the triggers for greed spawning are, though. Uh, okay. Like, I feel like it's every, like, like every room you, oh shit, those rooms are just annoying. Like, um, every time you go in the shop, there's a percent chance, and it keeps going up, 
like for every shop you take do you know what i mean so i feel like if you don't get greed early you're going to get them like late because you, you probably like skip the shops like thinking whatever i don't know dude just got a feeling, you know? Alright. Yeah, we got this. Hi, ma'am. Oh, that helped a bit. Let's do a little bit of that. That's my dang. I mean, I still got like the slow effect off, but I mean, we can try power filling or anything. Um, it seems to be a bit buggy. It feels like I had to move off. Or I? You used to be able to do something cool, actually. You used to be able to, um, like when she stomps, you could get close enough. To, like one of her body parts and she could end up stomping it. I'm sure they've taken that out of the game though. Because that used to be the big thing with uh, Red Mom because uh, the red variant of Mom, the champion version, whatever. Like she only stomps really, like really quickly. But again, I feel like they've probably taken that out. Woo, speed up! Okay, cool. Probably unlock an item. Jera. Oh, Jera, dude. That's like the best rune. Nice. What else we got? Pitch black? No, thank you. The tank? Uh, solar system kind of sounds fun, right? Waka waka. The host? The host sounds fun. Sure, let's try that. What do we do? I have no idea what that is. Let's, when we kill enemies or hit enemies, we have a chance of spawning flies or something. Well, BFF would be incredible. Um, BFF can spawn in shops. Oh, we also have the tick. Uh, so the tick's an interesting one. It's a trinket. And I think it's at the start of the fight um, with a boss. You deal 33% of the boss's health. To it and damage, but um, you can't take it off like, ever. I believe it also gives you one heart. Uh, let me do that. Sweet. I really wish we did have the money though. That's really annoying. There might have been a way to avoid that, but at least we have a chance of getting a devil deal. Actually, the game says 0%, uh, which I'm not sure why it says 0%. I guess Devil Deals are disabled on this challenge or something? Question mark? No idea. Yeah, why is it 0%? What the fuck? I feel like it bugged out when I took that hit while walking in the room. Yeah, because now I have a 100% chance Devil Deal. I don't know. Whatever happened there was not supposed to happen, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, we just really need a lot of money so we can buy BFF. Um, I don't feel overly confident about that. We'll come back for it. That could be like a Joker card or something, like game breaking. Those kind of cards normally are the um, the actual cards on the tarot ones. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, it might be when you kill an enemy. Okay, let's the boss now. Let's see what we can do with him. That's just so dirty. Like, we just don't have the speed or the ability to do anything about that. 
And it feels like the um, spider one is when I take damage and spawn spiders. Okay. Okay, range and luck up, I like that. What the fuck? Bunch of demon beggars. Yeah, I guess we try it. Well, yeah, nothing we can do here. That said, we didn't take a devil deal, technically. Uh, so... Yeah, I guess that's something. Two spades. Now we can go in the... Yeah, might as well. Let's see what we got. Is this the one that hurts me? Yeah, that's so stupid. That's actually, like, impossible. Like, unless you have a soul heart, you have no way of doing that challenge. Like, uh, whatever. Yeah. Drowsy. Don't know what that does. The bank. I guess we... I don't know. I guess we just go to the next floor. We might have to restart this one as well. Uh, feels like we kind of got fucked. In fact, we didn't get any like money at all. It's pretty annoying. Um, and the fact our first devil room bugged out. It's super annoying, actually. But... Well, at least we gotta keep our spiders. Uh, the problem is, yeah, they like suicide. Wait, these guys can damage you? Really? Stone ones? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I have enough speed to make that. Death? Death is cool. It's better than two pennies, anyway. Okay, well we got we got the cube. Cube of meat. That's the thing. Oh shit, it's still spawning stuff? Damn game. Way to give me a break. Okay, wow, that guy takes a lot of damage. Technically the cube of meat you can you know. I'm actually not getting like any drops, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. Like, this guy real no, fuck me. Like, I just don't have anything good here. It's kind of a weird challenge. Um, but I guess technically you're better off than the purist. Oh. I don't know what the fuck this is. That's a room from hell. Wow, that didn't even kill the gurglings. It's insane. This is like a really crazy boss from the head here, though. It's the third floor, and you're getting like um, a lot of nasty shit. This guy in himself is like a boss on this floor, usually. Uh, also, he's doing a full heart of damage, I think. Might just uh, notice wrong. But if he does a full heart of damage, it's weird. Like, could just be because he's, like, air quotes a champion variant, but, like, I don't know what makes him a champion. Like, I can't see the color difference. Which, uh, in a game like this, it's, like, important that a player can, at a glance, tell what he's up against. I don't remember being Curses of Wine either. Oh, and that's absolutely terrible. 
guess we just leave. Like, well, let's go get my diamond turn, I guess. Yeah, this is gonna be a rough one. Cause it's like I got, I got nothing. You know, we have no money, no bombs, a couple keys, but keys are useless, and we don't have any items that do anything except Cuban meat. I feel like I'm one item off of Mulligan. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Mulligan could be cool. But well, that would re require, like, uh... Re require... It'd require some item drops. We'll say that much. Game would have to throw me a bone. Not sure it's feeling like it. Whoa, this fucking room, though. Holy shit. That is a room. Oh, I didn't even realize what I had to do here. I thought I just had to kill that fly. This is a fun room, though. I like this. Okay. Honestly, I could probably win this if I got, like, Guppy's Paw. To be honest. There'd just be, like, so much, like, potential health at this point. I could probably do that. So I think it's an it's an on hit no it's on death. I don't know. I can't tell what this item is at all. That's a weird room. But we know where the secret room isn't. <laughs> but I mean I don't really have the bombs to go look. Oh fuck. Well that that helps. Almost feels like I'm playing on hard mode. Which is why I don't really enjoy hard mode runs, because I just find them, like, tedious. Because a lot of hard mode runs, um, you're, like, very RNG-reliant. Whereas, at least with, like, um, normal mode, like, you always have the option of, like, oh, I can just, like, get money by doing XYZ, and then I can buy something from the shop. I can, like, help with it, or, oh, I can go gambling for this, because I have, like, resources, or... I have a couple extra bombs, so why don't I look for the secret? Like, you know what I mean? Whereas on hard mode, it's like, I have one bomb, and I'm on, like, the last floor. I've got three pennies the whole run. <laughs> Which is kind of what we have right now, actually, going on. Yeah, I don't personally find it overly exciting. Unless you get Champion's Belt. Champion's Belt on hard mode is, like... It makes it kind of fun, because then it's just, like, difficult, but you still have, like, fairly reliable item spawns. Where's uh, the red hand, actually? Anything that makes, like, more, like, chess spawn. The left hand spawn. I always forget what this thing's called. The monkey's paw. That's what I want to call it. But I think that's a different trinket. I know what it looks like, though. It looks like a little, like... Green hand. Okay, there you go. That's a little bit of luck. I was actually like super lucky. Cool. Money? No. Oh, hell. Range up. Oh, it helps. That room. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's let's blow this up and then use our. Oh, no, that could happen again. Pretty much, yeah. We've only been getting like those super shitty troll bombs. A little annoying. Uh, another useless shop. I mean, it it could have our super item in it, the one we really need. It's just realistically. I wonder if this is some really weird. Like, like, this challenge has some really weird modifiers, it's not telling you, because we've had a shitload of champion enemies. Which I'm not sure why we have, but... Like, those guys didn't look like champions, but they all dealt a harder damage. Um, that's what they were, obviously. I miss when, like, champion enemies just meant, like... I mean, they had different effects, but, like, it was very obvious. 
Like, they were, like, a super different color. And you're like, oh, cool. That's fine. Oh, fuck this room. Yeah, that's... I think, yeah, I think we just die real quick. I mean, I might have been able to do something, but there's, it's really unlikely I'd be able to take out Mom. With that. Yeah, it's a really troll room. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do that, because keys end up kind of being useless in this room. So I don't, like, do these guys damage you or not? I don't know how I got damaged by one before. Spades. I always forget whether spades is the the money or the or money, the keys or the bombs. It would make more sense for clubs to be um, keys. These keys kind of look like a club symbol. I think that's what it is. Well, that's great. I forget what that does. Um, it's not it's not terrible. Okay, well there you go. We can uh, soul rock that. A couple things that's some not a yeah, it's not a good, good trick. Uh, so it was keys. Um, meh. It's fine. So yeah, we have a zero percent chance of the devil room. Like, that's not normal, is it? Like, you always have like a 36% chance or something on the first floor. I don't know, whatever. I think this is some weird version of the Duke. Yeah. So I think this is a Champion Duke, it's just, again, he doesn't have any... Like, there's no coloration differences, you know? Which is odd. Luck up is nice. Spade is key. Hey, Ravener, how you doing, man? Uh, it's going okay. Uh, we we beat a a challenge run. We beat the uh, I think it was called High Brow. We unlocked the Jera rune. That's good. That's a good thing. And now we're trying this one, but this is I don't know. We got a real set of bad luck this challenge. Um, also, okay, so about getting Samson, we completed a floor without taking damage, but, bit of a but there, um, we, well, we completed two floors. We completed one floor fully without taking damage, and the second floor we completed, we used the, um, the equivalent of a spade. Does that not work? No double deal on the first floor except for Red. Really? I s they're always used to be. In old Isaac, you could always get double deal on the first floor. You could even do that in Rebirth. Like I swear to God. When was that changed? Hmm. I mean, I could be misremembering, but like I feel like I'm not because. Oh whatever. Is what it is. Yeah, if you use, like, the spade, do you not... Oh, this is gonna be hell. Um, do you not... Because he explodes, right? Oh, fuck. Sorry, if you use the spade, do you not get the... Like, the counting for Samson? Um, like, I'm sure it doesn't count for the achievement. Um, like, the... Don't uh, get damaged on the first two floors, or whatever. Monstro oh, Monstro in small room, though. Oh, we'll do our best. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way I don't get damage there. There's just no room to maneuver. And yeah, he is a champion version. With no coloration. Like, I don't understand. Okay, like... Why is he not a different color? Uh, the shovel, sorry. It's, it lets you, like, dig to the next floor. I just don't understand why the um, champions are all the same color in this version. I feel like they really fucked up Afterbirth with that. 
Like, maybe people don't care, but, like, I super fucking care. I have a no bomb. I don't even really have money, so I don't care about the shop. But we've already taken damage this floor. Might as well check things out. Like, it'd be nice to know if a boss is going to deal one damage to me as opposed to half a heart. Um, you know, just in case I want to calculate how much health I have. Kind of a, kind of a cool thing. Uh, might as well check the curse room, I guess. There's nothing I really need from it, but... Um, yeah. That's nice. Not so much the keys, but the money is. Uh, it's worth checking out the shop then. So if we get a half off, like, BFF, or... Nope, we need garbage. But that's okay. I mean, at least we know. We wouldn't have known before. Could have bought the bomb there and blown up the, the rock, but I really want to save money. Because BFF's going to be, like, the only thing that could maybe turn this run into something decent. This challenge is pretty nasty, I think. I think it's worse than the... Um, you know the one where you have to kill everything with Guppy's hairball? Like, that run is way easier than this run, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm misremembering. But at the same time, like... Like, I don't get to do any cool stuff. I just attack normally. Very limited pool of items. Yeah, I'll take a bomb. Sorry, I shouldn't be so salty. It's 428. Oh, fuck off. See, these bats, I also, I don't understand them. Those ones, I don't either, I'll be honest. They just randomly charge you. But, like, these ones, like, like, at least you can kind of see he's, like, gonna attack. Like, he sort of telegraphs it. But it's like, what? what is their trigger? Like, is it a range thing? Like, it's so random. You know what I mean? I, I hate that. Well, it, I don't know if it didn't count before, because we beat a challenge doing two floors without taking damage, but we used the shovel for one of them. So I don't know if it was because we were doing a challenge, or if it was the shovel. See, I like rooms like this. This is what I like. I like going fast, I like dodging bullets. You know, just having a good time. And I like knowing what the fuck my enemies are. I'm sure I got hit, but whatever. Rooms like this are also acceptable. Not so much when it's a room like this, and the very, like they're the brimstone variant and they snap rimfire right when you open the door and you get hit. That's bullshit. Oh, you can't earn achievements and challenges. Oh, okay. It's kind of weird. I get it, though, because you can just play the lightning challenge, the, the tech-savvy one. It's, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good build. So I can understand that. Oh, shit, like, how much health these guys have? Eh? We'll just do a normal run after this. Or, no, we'll just find, like, a fun challenge. Not, like, a smash your head against the wall challenge. Okay. Hey, peeper. Okay, I think... All of the bosses are champions. Like, I think this is a champion peep. Does he look any different than normal peep? No. But he seems to be taking more damage than regular peep would. Considering it takes me the same amount of shots to kill this peep as, like, a normal fucking enemy on this floor. I'm gonna say there's something wrong. Yeah, I think I did a full heart there. I don't know, it's hard to say. No, that was a half heart. Okay, he's not a champion peep. There's something wrong with his health pool. Hey, 
got a damage up. First time for everything. That's exciting. Uh, do I need anything on this floor? No. All I need is, like, money. BFF to happen. Bombs for key. That'd be great. All good. Hey, that's nice too. It's a pretty shitty spot to spawn. I also oh he's still there. Like, look how many shots it takes to kill one of these. Holy fuck! Like, oh man. I think I just dropped this. Oh, right, it's because I have the tick. Oh, okay. That's really shitty. I feel like that that's done poorly. I feel like with the tick, you should just see them start with like a third of the health. You know what I mean? I guess that probably gets annoying for bosses with phases, but like, whatever. I think it makes way more sense than just having their health bar full, but like, um, did they just take more damage? Because, I don't know, it just looked really confusing. There we got. Speed. I like the sound of speed. Okay. Let's just make everything fast. Oh, okay. No? Yeah, I think everything's just fast, right? Oh, I'm on a timer! Oh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, I have to go all the way to Mom's heart? Oh. This is a fun job. I guess my attack speed seems a little faster. Not sure about that. Okay. Well, they've, they've got to give me item rooms, right? Like, if I didn't have... Like, if this is just a purist run, uh, I will not do it. Nope, because we were we were fighting it and they weren't uh, they weren't showing any visible loss of health. They would. Uh, I'm not sure. Probably not like a great item, but at the same time, does black hole work on bosses? Let's find out. Justice. Um, yeah, I was gonna say you spawn stuff, right? It's cool. I was really hoping for a soul heart, but you know that's all right. Do we check? Let's do it. Oh, how does it? Whoa! Now that is an item. Oh my god, what? Those are all the rocks too. That's a really cool item, actually. I have to keep that in mind. Uh, it's worth blowing up the TNT. Won't take too long. But I could potentially get small rock. Which, I mean, eh, maybe that's something. Maybe that's not something. Good. Okay, Larry Jr. Oh, wow, this is going to be an interesting one. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way I avoid damage here. It's actually going to be a crazy run. Holy shit. Like, they're bugging out. Like, the segments are not even remotely connected. Uh, this boss is probably really shitty. Like, it's really poorly designed for this challenge. Because the thing is, in theory, right, like, everything should just be twice as fast. I think that's, like, the joke. The thing is, with Larry Jr., like, yeah, he's twice as fast, but he's so buggy that, like, it makes his body take up, like, way more room than it should. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't think that's supposed to be, like, the mechanic they were going for there. I mean, that's nice. I'll take meat. I do have Afterbirth Plus, yes. I bought Afterbirth and Afterbirth Plus at the same time. Because I was like, you know what? Yeah. If I'm gonna... Oh, okay, that's fine. But if I'm gonna go get the, uh, full new Isaac experience, I guess we'll pick both up. 
because from what I was told, like, people said Afterbirth Plus added some... Oh, okay, this is really buggy. So that enemy there, he was able to, like, fly through walls. Yeah. Not sure we're going to be able to do this one. Uh, it's all good. Have you done the April Fool's Challenge? I have not. Let's just do a good old-fashioned run. Oh, greed, greed mode could be fun, too. Um... Or we could we could do Eden. See what you got for me, game. Oh, are you shitting me? Oh man, I beat one of these yesterday. I can beat it again. I'm just not looking forward to it. And I got remote detonator, right? Whoa! What? That's fucking awesome. Leprosy, not so much. Whatever this tier detonation device is, though. This is cool as shit. Oh, this is the room from hell. The things I have. Okay, well, this is interesting. Oh, my God, and they don't even give you fucking spectral tears. Yeah, I, I know what Eden gets, Ravner. He, he was in Rebirth. Um... Pretty cool. I just, you know, I was, I was not expecting Tiny Planet or whatever it is. I don't think anyone ever expects Tiny Planet. Let's get real. This tear detonating same thing though. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hang on. Boom! There we go. That's the ticket. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, for me. Gurglings. I'm fucked. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Gurglings that spawn bombs when I have Tiny Planet. I'm so fucked. Like, uh, Like, oh, god damn. Like, how do you not take damage in that fight? That was actually bullshit. Uh, I shouldn't have taken this because I should have gone for the curse room. Right well, I got fucked anyway. It's all good. Yeah, no one expects the planet in position. Yeah. Dark heart would be nice. Well, we've got. We have some items. Let's just say that much. Holy shit. But that that was like the worst first fucking possible boss you could ever get with this. Because like, it's really hard to control Tiny Planet. Obviously. But the, the big problem with it is it's really hard to control Tiny Planet and when they're spawning bombs, like you don't have a way of knocking those bombs away from you. Instead what happens is the bombs just kill you. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna bomb that up. Oh, okay, thank god. Okay, I was really hoping I'd get a bomb back. Um, a little bit sad, I'll be honest. But three, three bucks is three bucks. Yeah. Okay, no, we do kind of have spectral tears. For some reason, it wasn't working before. Let's see, I thought Tiny Planet had it in base. So that's nice. Spectral Tears invalidates a lot of items. But, um... You can't really be too choosy, you know? I don't have a lot of ways of modifying that, so we just gotta go with it. The Tear Detonator is amazing! But not with this build. <laughs> with this build, it's like, oh. Uh, okay. Like, look at that. That's insanity. I mean, if we got, like, Brimstone or something... Which is possible. We're in an, an actual run here. And we have money now. Like, things are possible. This run is far from over. And we don't have soy milk this time. Oh, shit. That's the only problem, though. Uh, we really need Pyromaniac or something. Oh, God. Okay, so Magnet is terrible. It's really, really, really bad. Never know, that could get me a penny. 
God, dude, all the magnets are terrible. So if we've learned, if we've learned one thing about me from hanging out here on the late night couch, is I, I don't I don't give a fuck. I, I'll just take the item because it sounds like fun. Uh, is that two shops? Okay, broken stop stopwatch is pretty shit. Bulls the hell out of you. That could be a good item though. Or like these cards tend to be pretty good. Uh, two hearts. Infested. Infested. Oh, okay. Yeah. No thanks, Tim. I just was not moving in the way I wanted to see it move. And check the other shop out. We'll do the boss. Uh, maybe library. So here's the thing. Uh, library normally is really good. Right? Library is pretty good. But, two of my keys. That's a bit rough. And this tier detonator is a lot of fun. It would take probably a dice room. Oh, not a library. What the fuck, pin in this room? Oh my god, pin! You can't, you can't dodge all these bullets. <laughs> I have the power of BS on my side. What you got for me? Is that the nail? That's the active item, right? No, it's not. The nail doesn't have blood on it. Uh, I think actually libraries can have two blocks or two locks, but I mean they might have changed that. I don't know. So what's that? Nail? Yeah, that is the nail. The nail is both a good item and a bad item. Uh, on any other run, I'd take it, but on this one, I'm not. Because I like my tear detonator. Do I try for that last room? Probably not. That doesn't do anything good. Okay, so I have item room, I have shop, I got 15 bucks to my name. I feel good, I feel good about that. And I think that was one floor without damage. Which makes me think, hey, this could be it. This could be our champion. But now that I say it, I'm not gonna be able to get another one. And boom, oh, should I just miss the one? Nah, kinda worked out. Let's play really safe. If I can get Holy Mantle game, huh? just, just give me that Samperoni. That, that like Samson. He's good. I think it's... No, no, you have to attack ahead of you to get the range. That's right. I'm really glad I played a run with this just yesterday, so I remember how to use it. 9 volt for trickle charge? Oh my god, yeah. 9 volt or the... Um... Wait, those, those don't get magnet to me? Oh, game. Okay. Uh, I mean, that is the thing. Do we go for the boss? Because then we have a good chance of getting Samson if I don't take damage. Or... Try for them, like, finding the item room or something. I think we try and get the boss first. Oh, it's pesty. Yeah, that's that's good. This, this is a, an enemy whose mechanics I know, which is handy. That's that's always. I mean, the creep is really annoying, but again, it's it's a boss. Oh, fuck. Yeah. See. Yeah. That's too bad. We tried. Like I was really close to getting that. I definitely could have done it on this fight, but we just had really unfortunate creep placement. Which, you know, technically it's my fault. I was standing kind of... He doesn't exactly shoot it at you, but you know what I mean. Um, it's just... It's, it's also means no devil. 
Bye. That's okay. Cuba meat, sure. Means we can be reckless now. I mean, obviously, you don't want to take hits, but it means I'm like, not gonna, like, get super upset. One second hits. So it seems like there's a bit of a delay on the tier detonator, which is kind of annoying because my tiers are not gonna be where they will be when I use it. Um, makes it a little bit difficult for me. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of a, a bit of a delay there. That's okay. Now that we know that, oh, this is going to be an interesting fight in the tier deck here. We really need fire rate. Um, and does range make these stay alive longer, or how does that work? There you go. Like, that's just hell. It's so hard to, like, see what you're doing with this once you tear detonate. Oh, man. This is actually not a terrible item. 48 hour energy. 48 hour energy could be cool. It's good to know it's there. It's really annoying those don't get pulled to you. Um... I've been getting so many troll bombs from, like, chests in general lately. I'm gonna pop it here, because these guys are a little annoying to deal with. Like, they're not the end of the world, but if you get them in a bad spot... Wait. It charges in between... What? It charges in between waves? That makes Colosseums really good, then, actually. Because then you can get, like, a guaranteed three... Like, charge. That's insane. It's unfortunate that I didn't do something in the world. Found our item room. We need to find our shop. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it looks disgusting. Hey, luck up. It's random. I'll take it. Oh, no! Oh, fuck no. That's short range Megateers? Oh, fuck! Um, hmm. Hmm. How does this work? Yeah, that does. Oh, God. Like, we, we actually do, like, no damage. Range attack. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're pretty fucked here. I think that just nuked our damage to the ground. That's okay. Um, just just need range ups or something. I don't I don't know. Magic fingers is not that good. We could donate, but this is a run where we need help, so we won't. Uh, it is unfortunately not a run. Eh. It's unfortunately not a run where we try for mm, like the um, boss rush. Yeah, we're like melee build, except we don't actually attack in melee. That's the annoying part. Like, it's we, we don't actually fire in front of us at all. So like, a, yeah, we're so fucked. Like a large portion of our damage is just completely gone. Uh, oh, what? What's this? What the fuck? Oh, okay, hang on. The, the game, see, we can't, we cannot attack at all in front of us. Ah, that's such a really annoying. Okay. Okay, well, hang on. The game is back afoot, boys. I have no idea what that fucking room was. Really weird. We need a ton of money, we need blood bag for one. Although we're probably gonna get IV bag. Uh, a bunch of pills. I would like a bunch of pretty flies, but I feel like you don't get pretty flies anymore. 
game believes in you. Yeah. Yeah, I got... Whoa! I just got a pretty... Fly. First time I've seen a pretty fly since I started playing Afterbirth. Yes. Oh, pop the pills, then. This is... This is a fucking run. It was like that Maggie run, man. That's why. The game is actually rewarding me because I stuck with that Maggie run. Is that... Oh, what the fuck happened there? Uh, I didn't really want the solar. That's okay. Machine is based on your luck stat. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. At least it didn't damage me. Yeah. Range up. Yeah, I don't know if that did anything. So. Her luck up. I don't know how I'm getting these luck ups, I'll be honest. Oh, this one. So this should mean this is more Oh, don't give me Scatoli. Oh, you piece of shit. Hmm. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Like, I, I don't know if I can kill this, or... Another luck up! You unlock Lucky Penny from Greed Mode? Oh. So, like, just... Okay, well, we need keys. Oh, I have a key. Um... Well, I guess we go shop. Yeah, they're, they're the story of my life right there, kids. Fuck you, Greed! Like, this is such a pain in the ass. Like, what the shit? God, my luck, though. We need proc-based items. Like, real bad. Um... Fuck, well, we gotta find the secret room now. This is, like, this is some shit. There's a key. Give it here. The thing is, like, this is fine, but I don't know how we're going to deal with bosses at all. Another key. Bills. No? Oh, no. We can't take lard, right? Uh, our speed's fine, I guess. No, that's okay, dude. Like, I mean, you didn't know, I didn't know. It's all good. Like, this is gonna be... I think I gotta... Gotta... Eh, it's gonna be real hard killing these exploding guys. So that's one way of doing it. But well, we need a couple good shops, and we need another arcade. Um, or just decent items. Which, this is actually like a pretty good item, I think. Like this tier one, I feel like this is a really good item when you don't have Tiny Planet, because then you can like attack ahead of you. With some range, but like you see what I mean, right? Like we lose so much of our damage just like trying to get behind us. Um, that's kind of the unfortunate part. I think I'm fast enough to get away with lard. Yeah, okay, I was, I was, I'm good. Wasn't sure how much lard took away. And I know I didn't really need the HP up, but I'm, you know, I'm banking on some nice things. Maybe we'll get a brimstone. Maybe. At least I'm learning how to use this now. You, you actually want to hit them sideways from you. Like that's that's the trick. Definitely gonna be the trick. God, I hate these skeletons. I mean, our damage is good, though. Oh, oops. If we, if we can ever get to, no, you don't. Okay, sideways doesn't work properly. Shit. That's nice. Um, 
I can get over there with bombs for a pill. Probably not. Stain. Oh my god. Okay, so like our damage when we do hit, though, it is good. It is a good thing. Alright, I like that. Okay, we got him stuck in some sort of pattern. That's nice. He's, he's definitely... He's still thinking about this. He doesn't know what's going on. Get him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Shit, I just barely stepped on the screen, so I killed our god room chance. Or our devil room, one of the two. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. And that'll do. Okay, let's go looking for secret room. Could be here. No. Okay, we're not going to. We are going to go in the curse room, though. For sure, for sure. Because Guppy would help a lot right now. Soul hearts would be fine. Like, there's nothing else you really get in a curse room that's actually useful. Um, beggars would be good, but I haven't seen a lot of them, actually. Can't think. When's the last time we saw a beggar? That one time we went in uh, Satan, or the Devil Room. I guess. I had three beggars. Nah, that was pretty good. We got some bombs out of it. The secret room cannot be next to the boss room. Do range ups work with this, like, item at all? I feel like probably not really. Definitely want a bomb in there. Bomb and a key. Solid. I would love to take that, but no dice. Eh, I mean... Oh, another... Oh, my God. Like, it, okay, if we could get Tooth Shot, or, um... I don't know if Tooth Shot's unlocked. The Reaper? Fuck, that would be good. Uh, like, yeah... Okay. The one spot I could guess... Right here. Nice. Give me an arcade machine or something. Uh, pills? I feel like pills don't drop like they used to anymore. I mean, like, they do, but, I mean, you used to be able to get, like, pills really often when breaking, um, the mushrooms. So it's unfortunate we're not going to get our boss rush, but, I mean, we're, we're building... By, by taking our time, we're building a slightly um, more confident run. And that's good. That's a good thing. Oh yeah, we still got hella. We got lots of, lots of time. So we probably only have one more shop. Because we'll probably get super greed in one of them. Mega greed, or which, whichever the greed is. That is not regular greed. I think it's super, super greed. And this is really annoying on these guys. Tiny Planet is just one of those items, like... It is, it is one of those items. So, somebody ever asked you, hey, what is an item? Tiny Planet. And I don't even hate it. I actually really like Tiny Planet. Because it changes the game and makes it fun. I like items like that. Is it really hard to use? Yes, it is. Is it an upgrade? No, not normally. But it's really fun. You know? And I just, I like that. I like things that change change the game. Even if it makes it so it's like really difficult for me. That's okay. But when it's like, okay, it's the same thing, but like, it takes you ten times longer to do it. That's like, no. That's why, like, I'll never complete the purest challenge. Maybe someday, but it's like, I just don't... Coming cold, right? Or is that Bob's brain? If that's Bob's brain, I'm fucking myself pretty hard here. <sighs> Fuck. Um, okay, so actually, you always attack backwards with this, so that kind of works. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Alright. We can make it work. 
That's really annoying. There goes my uh, devil room chance. Oh, that's right, this fucker. Yeah, so I don't really understand how he works at all, but it's fine. Like, I mean, I did. I just don't understand, like... Like, some of his brimstones, like, randomly snap home on you. And the other half, like, he does the spin, which is, like, pretty fun. That's a fun little spin. I like that. It sure is Bob's brain, kids. Well, we need some, uh... We need a shop. Let's keep going. Okay, fuck you. Like, see to me? I don't like rooms like that. Like, there's so many rooms in this game that do not give you a chance. It's like, oh, would you like two seconds to react? No, no, you just take damage. Hmm. Uh, okay. That, that's, I guess, an interesting mechanic. Like, right here, like, this is kind of stupid. So you have to pay a key to get into the item room, and then it's like, okay, well, you either have to waste the bomb or take a hit. It's like, but why? Why can't that just be, like, an extra room that I have to make that choice? For, like, a crappy chest, you know? The good old days. Oh, well. Check the Coliseum out. What do you got for me? Hmm. Two bombs for probably garbage. I'll actually probably take that. What? Oh, my tear. Oh, my tears dissipated before the explosion went off. It's annoying. These guys are so difficult with this. Thankfully, we got Bob's brain. It's uh, the second run we've had with that. And it's, it's gonna carry us. Don't you worry. It's secretly one of the best items in the game. Only used by professionals. For the uh, simple reason of... Kinda sucks. But, you know. Snipe Bob's brain! Oh, that was close. Get the snipe. Beautiful. This magnet is actually putting in work, though. Like, I hate to say it, but, you know, this, this magnet is, uh... Good. good. I'm really glad I picked it up. It's good to admit when you're wrong. Oh, God. What are the odds? I actually don't know what the odds are. But, uh, apparently the luck stat does not affect them. So, that's something to keep in mind. Okay. I was going to say, where's the shop? We still haven't found it. Uh, well, it's probably the secret room. Yeah, we'll definitely hit up that Coliseum. Shop. Holy shit, like, game. You gotta throw me a bone eventually, dude. Was Bob's brain getting stuck by the cobwebs? Or is he getting stuck on terrain? I don't know. Holy shit, game. Where's the shop, please? I got 99 bucks here. I just want to buy, like, I don't know, fruit roll up or something. Strength, eh? Strength is interesting if you can find a uh, blood machine. Shit. Come on, Bob. Bob! Oh my god, really? That was weird. I guess he gets stuck on terrain or something. Like like rocks and stuff. I don't know why, but... Safety cap is actually pretty fun. Boomerang. Um... Oh, we can't even donate here. But we can do this. Do I want a key? No. Uh, trinket room? No. I haven't even found any good trinkets yet. That I like. So I think that'll refresh it, yeah. Is that the active slow motion thing? Not crazy about it, game. PhD. Could be good. It's handy. I can see. Nice, and we got super pill. A pill mimic. What does that do? Does that copy whatever pill I have in my pill slot? No way does it do that, because that's like crazy. What is this?
Okay, nothing. Shit, there's no way that that works that way. Cause that's really cool. We keep, what what would be a good pill to copy? Wow, what a fucking room there. That's a good one. All right, yeah, I think we go check out. We we do the curse room. We do the coliseum. Again, we're not making speed run. Oh. Doesn't that guarantee a devil room every time? How will that work uh, if we walk in the devil room now? Because when you walk in the devil room after the fact, it resets your, um, your like devil percent to zero, for, like the rest of the floor. But now it's a hundred. If I walk in there now, will it spawn? What's that? Friends till the end. Let's check. Holy shit! It does work that way. Wow. Wow. This little pill active item's incredible. No detonating tears, though. But I mean, infinity of a pill. Could be good. Two of hearts. Oh my god. Two of hearts is the safe option, but. Ah, uh, that's fine. We can just use friends till the end now. Like, I don't need to duplicate that pill. Yeah, that's a good way of doing it. Eh. Eh. Go ahead is a really nice pickup, though. Happy about that. I'm just gonna go grab a heart real quick, and we'll head out of here. Balls of steel, tears up. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, tears up. We, I think we might have max fire rate. Maybe not, but we got. Um, it's actually worth popping these, because we can get, uh, pills. Emperor. Emperor is handy. Yes! Oh, you filthy bitch. That guppy, though. We do have keys. Um, what's the other one? Lord of the Pit? I think. I think it just gives you flying. And a speed up. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Two hearts? Not doing that. Oh, you fucking bastard. I'm so bad at that, though, so it's all good. Now, I could have not done that, and we would have had a 50% chance of getting a god room. Could have been good. Uh, blowing that up for pills seems really good right now. Bad gas. Telepills. I can see forever. Um, I think I can see forever is going to be the one we do. Right? That seems pretty strong. This is annoying as fuck. Like, what? What is this hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, get played, son. Holy shit. I can see forever. Okay, we got our bombs back. I'm really happy about that. I think we pop telepills to see where it puts us, maybe? Secret rooms for the rest of the floors? Yeah, I know, right? I, I think we pop telepills. Well, actually, we don't need it, because we can find all the rooms. Oh, you fucking little shit. So we can find all the rooms naturally. Change my mind. I mean... Speed up. I think our speed is... Uh, comfortable. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't ever want to go too fast. I mean, I do, but... And yeah, I've been getting really unlucky curse rooms. Eh, got some nice items out of them. I mean, this is this is definitely it's a it's a series of items, and it does something. Um, so there's that. You know, hard to complain. 
Telephil's gonna take you to the error room now? I think it always could. But I agree, that is terrifying. Oh shit, it's triple pin. Okay, now it's uh, pin that's gonna get wrecked. Come on, pin, come back here. I don't know what I want. I think I want polythemus for just like hilariously garbage tiers that can't reach anything, but if I do hit, like a, no, I, I, I want like common cold, I want the snot thing, I want uh, anything that makes use of all this luck. Like the one time I get insane luck in a run, and the run's like, no, 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 you're not gonna use that. You crazy? Oh shit. That arcade though. Oh, calm down, there's arcade could be fun to a clubs clubs is bonds. hold on to it till we see what our arcades got nice nice because we do have the t oh we got that fucking two hearts too yep yeah we're gonna be doing that well let's gamble the money part first I think Although we should donate some of this to the shop. What do I want from this? What am I trying for pretty flies? Right? Health spawns, I guess. Yeah, maybe... Oh. Shiny rock. Technically, safety cap's the better pick here. Technically. Um, yeah, let's go back for our, our two of heart. Man, there's a lot of shit. We need, okay, I'm just going to use this now. I know it's not the best use of it, but it's because I am going to forget to pick everything up. Because we have to pick up our I can see forever. Bill. Um, The I am error room is actually pretty decent. Hmm. Okay. Let's, let's see. So I can use four hearts, up, right? It was IV bag. Another luck up, which is cool. So this guy can't give me Scatoli anymore. Will he just give me like a regular item? Also, with 70... Like, I almost have 8 luck. I should almost have a 100% chance of this guy giving me stuff. Unless they change that. That's fair enough, Ravner, yeah. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna save my cash for now. Try and donate a bunch of it. Um... I can see forever pill, I think, is down here. Oh yeah, secret rooms, or item rooms, I forgot about them. So I don't know if they, yeah, um, unfortunately, I was talking about before they nerfed Kane. Kane was like my all-time favorite character, I just love him. I Like, I still love him, I just really like the look of the character. And I mean, he's, he's a really interesting biblical character, which is pretty cool as well. And also, if you're a fan of, um, you know, World of Darkness, uh, put out by White Wolf, which is a, a role-playing setting, uh, Kane's a, a big character in that, actually, as the original vampire, which is pretty cool. But, uh, I just like little eye patch, greedy money guy, you know? He's like a little pirate. It's fun. Um, but his his item made it so... Alright, we got more options. Is that Bumbo? Mmm. Yeah, Bumbo, we're doing good for money, bud. He came in at the wrong time, though. That's okay. But Kane's item used to make it so you had, like, a 66% chance instead of a 33 on all the arcade machines. Like, all of them. Oh, it was, it was insane. It was insanely good. Um, so I understand why they nerfed it. Because eventually people found out that, hey, this arcade thing is kind of OP. <laughs> you could really break the game with it. Um, is it breaking the game if you're having fun? Yeah, probably. But it was a lot of fun.
Oh, Bumbo. Go to town, buddy. Go to town. That's my little baby. What is up with us and getting Bumbo and actually, like, finding money? Like, when I found Bumbo in, like, like Rebirth, it was always, like, right at the end of a run or something. Or it's like you find them, but you only ever have, like, two pennies. Bumbo, you gotta get all the coins, dude. I'm trying not to take him. You gotta be faster than that. That's my boy. Go get him. Go get him, Bumbo. Get in there. Uh, now, I could tank these hits and actually get Bumbo more money. I'm not going to. I could. Get, get, get money. There you go. We got Super Bumbo. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck off. See, that's another one of those rooms, like, well, I mean, that one does give you some reaction time. Uh, my character's just really fast. So ignore me. That's legit. Taylor Pears. Fuck. Bob's brain. And a boy, Bumbo. Yeah, that's, uh, that's nice. I'll gladly take three black hearts. Teleporter 2.0 for clearing floors and getting to error rooms. Okay, sounds fun. I don't know how that works. Oh, this is mom? Oh, shit. Uh, did we get our shop? Oh, yeah, it was super greed. Oh, fuck. Of course the last shop was super greed. Man, Bumbo's going to tent. Man, Bumbo is just so good. Wow. Gotta be careful here. This is Red Mom, I think. Right? No? Yeah, this is the one that only stomps and never summons enemies. I think. She stomps a lot more. I don't like the fact, though, again, like, you can't tell, really. Like, the tinge is so minor. I don't know. I wish I could turn that on, actually. I, I really liked seeing... Like, oh, this is champion version. Okay, normally Guppy is, like, something I will take any day of the week. Because I love Guppy, and I think it is incredible. But, ooh, we could donate some serious health here and maybe get a good item. Okay, uh, Demon Bum is actually solid going down. Wow, this is really risky. I think we'll be okay, though. That's nice. That's a huge damage up. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, I want both of these items. Yeah. So... We probably only have two more floors. Do I want infinity pills? Or do I want... Oh, we hadn't unlocked Krampus yet. That explains things. Because, like, this is pretty fucking good. I mean, like, this is 15 more health. Versus what could you possibly give me? You give me two I can see forevers. Which, like, that is good, but... Because we haven't seen any really cool other pills in the pool yet. Gotta go with, go with Guppy. Uh, Polaroid isn't being unlocked yet. If we had Polaroid, I'd be feeling pretty good. Curse of the Maze? Uh, yeah. Let's uh, turn on this here, I think. So I think this is the one where if you enter rooms. Oh, yes! Um, you. No! <sighs> Forgot the range was two. Well, Friends till the that end. happened. 
What would he have given? Probably just health up anyway. Still, probably would have been nice! Oh, I'm drowsy. It slows the enemies on screen. It's super cool. Oh, yeah, right. That was my bad. I completely forgot it was range 2. Oh. Okay. Well, this, this room's really easy for something like a bumbo. I'm just gonna bumbo do it. He's gotta earn his keep, dude. He dropped the bomb? What happened there? I don't need the money, Bumbo. It's all yours. Bumbo, are you shitting me right now? <laughs> Bumbo, are you shit? What are you doing? No. Don't spit the money. Take the money, Bumbo. What the? Is he bugged? What is he doing? Bumbo. Take the goddamn money. Bumbo, dude. Here, I'll block it with this. Oh shit, bum! What are you doing, pal? Oh, dude, bum Bumbo is spitting out constant bombs. I think he's bugged. Just leave it to me. Like, I don't know why I always end up breaking games. Holy shit! Go kill the other one too, Bumbo. Uh, toenail. Chance of getting hit to have the toe come, probably. And not interested. Whoa, that was a room. Now, you guys might have been like, why were you worried? There was nothing to be worried about there. Bumbo, I swear the fuck, dude. What are you doing with your life? Give me that cash. You're a menace. Um, but I was really scared that Bob's brain was gonna, like, you know me. Real bad. Hey, Mr. Grinch, what's up, man? You familiar with Isaac? What? Shit, what is this? I see. I see. The fool. Not at all. Okay, well, it's really good. Um, it's a rogue light. It's kind of a dungeon crawler. It's basically, just think of it as a dungeon crawler. Uh, yeah, fuck those. But, um, it's kind of like a dual stick shooter as well. You basically, I move my character with one analog stick, and then you shoot with the other one. I actually use the, uh, the buttons, like the WA, well, not the WA. X, the triangle, square, circle, etc. You know what I mean? All those buttons. The face buttons, I think they're called. That's what I use to fire. But either way. Same sort of principle there. Um, and then you fight stuff. And there's horrible RNG with lots of items. And it's a lot of fun, actually. It's a really well-designed game. And then you get Bumbo. Oh, okay. Curse of the Maze is working. It was just not working before. Yeah, Bumbo, you get him, dude. You drop those bombs. And it's... It's not, like, insanely RNG-dependent, because skill trumps, like, good items any day of the week. But... Some items are really, really bad. And, uh, I haven't played this in two years. Pretty much. A year and a half, at least. And then I bought the two new expansions for it, and I plugged them in, and oh my god. Yeah, so there's a lot of shit going on here. Okay, so these three really gross things. Um, that's because I have this leprosy item. So as I, I took damage and they spawned to block shots around me. Uh, this is an orbital. That is a cube of meat. I got that for killing one of the horsemen. It just like blocks shots that come at me. So do these kind of. Uh, they don't always work though because you can see there's just gaps and stuff like that. And these ones will eventually break. That's a little pretty fly. He's going to block a shot, too. Uh, and these are my tears. This is my main attack. Unfortunately, I uh, very I spawned and then picked up some really interesting items that change how it works. So you can see they would normally come straight out of me, like bullets. 
uh, but they don't. Um, so they arc around me and have almost no range and are garbage. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, we're making do. We're uh, we're doing our best. That's all. That's all you can do. Bumbo, what are you doing with those bombs, man? You, oh, you fuckhead, Bumbo. Uh, I don't know if I can kill this. Okay, because Bumbo was just sitting on it. It was like fucking up. I don't know. What do you got? Jera? Okay, hang on. This could this could be a room where we break shit. So, so Jera is an item that doubles every item on the ground. Does Jera work on Jera's? So one might say the range up pill is the one we want to, like, we want to double that with Jera. But let me tell you something. Oh, we can't go to the chest. So yeah, this is definitely where we Jera. Here does not work on Jera because, yeah, it'd be bullshit. Range. As bullshit as all this range up? I don't think so, range. Timothy. Yeah, it did, not, it did fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the game was like, nah. Um, it's actually almost worth going in there trying for Guppy. But it's okay. Fuck, it means I gotta go through the bullshit room, which means I'm probably gonna get hit, because this is not a this is not a friendly room. Especially not for us, because we got trouble with the fucking hitting thing. Nice, nice. It wasn't quite so bad. Is there a map? Yeah! At the very top right, there's a small mini map. Um, so I actually have a few options on, which kind of make the game a little bit more annoying. So I've got that and that. So you can see, this is what the game normally looks like. It's a lot more manageable. Uh, top left, this is an item that I can activate at any time. Um, they normally have a cooldown. This one doesn't, but that's because it takes a permanent health away from me. This is my money, my bombs, my keys. Uh, bombs are used for, like, you can use it as an attack, but you also use it to blow holes in the shit. This is a passive temporary item, like, as long as I'm carrying it, but I can also swap it for other passive items. This is an activated one-use item. This is my mini-map, which I can hold select to make, like, fuck huge, uh, which is handy, and I do it sometimes, and then it'll tell you what level I'm on, any curses affecting me currently time in my score. None of that really matters. Uh, the time kind of, because there's like some timed uh, events each run, but it's minor. And then the the other things I turn on here, uh, which actually I, I never used before. People are, you know, recommended I do, and it, it's really helpful. So these just show my stats. So all the items you pick up will affect your stats in some way. Um, so that's my speed, range, attack speed. Um, that is the rate at which my speed, my tears travel across the screen. So the shot speed, if you will. Um, it's my damage, my luck, and then the chance of a devil in God room. None of that is really like, this isn't really gonna like mean much to you because you don't know what you're comparing it against. But basically, if you see me get, like, a plus on something, then that's a good thing. If you see me get a minus, that's a bad thing. It'll pop up green or red. And these are the last items I picked up. Um, which, they're just fun, because people that do know the game can pop in and see some of the items I've collected and be like, oh, cool. You know? But if you're just, like, the casual observer, it just looks like a bit of noise. That's okay. Wow, blood bag. Nice if I didn't take damage for it, that's okay. And this is a boss. This is one of the many bosses in the game. There, there's a lot. I'm gonna say there's like probably 30, maybe 40 bosses. Um, and they all have different um, variations of them. Oh, thanks, dude. I'll definitely check that out. Gimme guppy, gimme guppy, gimme guppy. 
Wow, that dead cat, though. That is such a shitty, 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 shitty troll item. Fuck you, game. I don't take dead cat, right? So, um, to Mr. Grinch, dead cat gives you nine lives, but uh, it sets you on one maximum health. Um, so that's a thing. Tinted rock. Spam your pie out and then take it. Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to keep all that, sadly. One of these is tinted? That's not the third piece. I only have the tail right now. What's the other guppy item? Guppies. Oh, the paw! Oh. Yeah, we're doing it. As I freaking love the Gupster! Yeah. Oh, and we unlock Guppy's hairball, which is cool. So this is actually my favorite thing in the game, Mr. Grinch, for the record. So Guppy is a transformation. Um, now we're getting even more complicated. As you can tell, it's a very nuanced game. I recommend it, though. It's a lot of fun. Um, I have like 80 hours in the original game and I have like, uh, well, I'm getting up to 80 on this version as well, which is, um, the rebirth <laughs> came out just, um, well, like four years ago or something like that. Either way, it's, it's like an updated version. It's not in flash anymore, so it's nice. But, um, so there are certain, um, think of them like item sets. If you get certain combinations of like matching items, like a whole bunch of um, injected, like syringes, for example, you'll unlock the spun transformation. So it kind of like rewards you for collecting a series of similar items. A lot of times that's random, but there are ways to like um, affect that. Devil Deals being one of them. And Guppy is my favorite because it turns you into this cute little kitty cat, which you can't see because I have huge balls on my chin. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But it turns me into a cat, which lets me fly. But I don't really care about that. The flying is fun. But what it does do is every time I damage an enemy with one of my shots, I spawn flies out of them. Like little, like, actual, like, fruit flies and shit. This top right has a small X on it. This thing? Holy shit. I don't know how you notice that, dude. But uh, I really like the mechanic of, like, attacking an enemy and spawning these, like, attack flies that swarm them. It is a lot of fun, in my opinion. Oh, good. We can change what we look like. There you go. That is the look for me. So, we just got a, a curse here. Um, curses are random effects that change how the entire floor plays out. And this one, unfortunately, that's nice, makes it so we have no mini-map. So... That's unfortunate. It's till the end, that's nice. Range up, that's super nice. Like, we're getting that range up. It's still, like, it feels like it's still garbage. Oh, shit. Okay, we did. Oh, my God, Bumbo. Coming in clutch. Coming in clutch. Get him, Bumbo. Holy shit. Something's wrong. I don't know about that one. Best is nice. Oh fuck, this is a room. And that was definitely a room. No denying that. Get him, Bumbo! Nice. Good fried poop? Eh. So the cool thing is, we have a 100% chance of going to the uh, devil. Which means we can actually go visit uh, the, the dark room. I've actually, like, I'm terrible at noticing the X's um, outside the first, like, two floors. Like, after, like, <laughs> once it reaches that point, I'm just, I'm just so lost. Come on. I've missed so much shit. 
I'm really glad we attack backwards. Like, it is really saving my ass here from Bob's brain. So the problem with the no minimap, uh, on top of the obvious problems, is now I have to try and remember where I've been and figure out where I'm going. And that's that's a little difficult, let's get real. So I have to try and find this, this boss room here. Which is not that one. I wish it was though. Tin rock for his floor is across there. Oh, okay, cool, thanks, dude. Uh, I don't think I want more speed. I'm comfortably too fast as it is. <laughs> um, and that's that's a nice thing about this game as well, like Mr. Grinch is like, as you start learning what certain items do, you know, you, you sort of gauge like how you want your stats to be. Obviously damage is always good. You just always want damage. But like speed is a very personal stat. Cause like everybody is comfortable controlling their character at a certain speed. Now, you need a certain level of speed, usually about one, which is, I think, the, like, the default, to, like, be able to dodge every projectile good. But, like, after that, it's, like, some people find, like, when you go too fast, it's, like, very hard to control. Um, I think I generally, generally go pretty fast. I forget what the max speed is. Probably, like, two? And I usually like to float, like, 1.8. I just feel comfortable here feels good to me um, but some some people like it a lot uh, slower which is just it's cool it's just another cool little mechanic so this is the final well it's the final boss of this part of the game um, there there are many many more final bosses after this one unfortunately and if we're lucky we'll get there and we just got fucked by Bumbo I almost beat this floor without taking damage, and then Bubba. Like little, little bastard he is. It's okay. A dark room? Hell yeah. We got a build. No, absolutely. Like, Mr. Grinch, it's like... Um, if I play a game, I'm either just testing it out. It's like I was asked to test it out. That happens sometimes. Or it's because, like, I'm passionate about it, and I enjoy playing it. Because that's the only games I play on stream. Like, well... Generally, I'm only going to play something that I want to play, right? For, like, fun or whatever. But so it's like, oh, that's a really cool mechanic. That's a new enemy. But, like, if I like a game, you know, enough to sink this many hours into it, I, like, I want to I wanna share that, you know? I want other people to be able to understand it and, like, also want to play it, you know? Obviously, you don't have to play games I play. But I want people to feel like they have that ability. Epicac is yeah, it's a, it's an item, dude. Um, I've not got it enough to say I like it. seen Haunt outside uh, Boss Rush, actually, and I'm kind of happy about that. Haunt is just one of those bosses I always struggle to dodge. Like, I mean, I normally do, like, pretty good, but every once in a while. Okay. So, this... When you, when you first play Isaac, there's a final boss, which is the mom fight. Uh, some people refer to it as mom's foot. Uh, this is the third final boss. You, you keep unlocking more final bosses as you play. It's pretty funny. And of course, they keep getting harder and harder and harder. But the idea is not only, you know, when you get to the next final bosses, are you going to be better at the game? Um, but you also have better items when you get there, so it makes sense. Blah, blah, blah. 
but I, I think there's like... Maybe nine or ten final bosses? Like, if you understand what I mean, like... Because there's so many bosses in the game, but I, like there's like... You progressively go through tiers unlocking like, oh this is the next like final... Final boss. Book of Secrets? I don't know what that does. It's kind of cool though. Fart bread freeze! How you doing, Spider Spirit? What's up, my man? Kinda wanna try Lilith though. Don't know how she plays, we just unlocked her last night. This might be like my final run for a night. It's 5 34 a.m. Yeah. It's a little late. Okay, well that's that's a super bad start to the run. And yeah, she's really wonky. Wait, how the fuck does this work? So her familiar fires. Okay. That's mom wig. I think this is like a chance when you enter a room to spawn spiders. Don't exactly know what her active item does, but that's okay. We'll see how this boss goes. This is going to be a little bit difficult, I think, with the familiar. Although the cool thing about it is, in theory, this um, like this is going to be super good on the it lives fight, or mom's heart, because I can kind of keep the familiar like mostly stationary while dodging. You can't seem to uh, you can't arc shots with this thing. You might already be dead. Like, we don't have, like, shit for health going in the boss room. Interesting character. We'll try her active on the boss and then maybe do a restart. Um, just to see. No, never mind. Balls of Steel just happened. Oh, shit. Okay, so doubles her dude. Alright, I can dig that. I think uh, Borrowed was talking to me about this character last night. And if he was, and if I remember correctly, um, this might double all of her familiars, which could be super exciting. Well, if that's the case, uh, we've already taken damage on this floor, so we are going to hit up the curse room. There's no reason not to. Actually got a pretty good uh, start. I think I'm going to break some... That's really annoying. The one max health is going to be a little bit tough for the Devil Deals. And she is... It's really weird trying to aim from a familiar's point of view. Like, it's, it's super... Oh, okay. Well, that was potentially good. Um, kind of fucked us up. Now, the interesting thing about this... Speed. Speed down, that's really shitty. Okay, well, what is going on? Like, what a set, a set of just things happening right now. So we, we got a guppy item. We've already been to a devil room, but the problem is that means that we have a 50% chance of getting a god room next time because we didn't take an offering. Um, wow, what the fuck? We, we have an evil up, though, so it's a much better chance of getting a... Uh... Man. Okay, well, huh. well... We'll see how we do here. I think it's going to be really difficult for me to control this character just because of the, uh, the nature of having to use a familiar, not being able to arc shots. Like, really changes how you play the character, and I like that. I do like that a lot. If uh, you hear me say one thing, it's always me going like... Man, I sure like things that change how you play the game. Yep, I got fucked on. That's okay, we still still gotta... I don't know if I should have picked up the ringworm there. Oh, uh, whatever, it's, it's gonna be interesting. We'll roll with it. Um, yeah, I actually got a fair amount of bombs. I will take all these things. 
Pheromones is cool. Let's save that for a rainy day. Uh, maybe this rainy day? I mean, there are better uses for it, but I just don't have the the knockback, really, to um, deal with these. I don't know if I should take this ringworm. It's pretty hilarious, though. Uh, bomb for a bomb. Because yeah. you never know, you might get like a small rock or something. It's kind of cool, we've unlocked Krampus. Um, the problem is, I actually don't want Krampus this run. Um, yeah, I don't want that. Sorry guys, now, this is the one thing, Mr. Grinch, this game has a lot of items. Like, a lot. And I don't even know what they do. I know a good amount, but I do not know all of them. So I'm gonna check online real quick, what does Dunscap do? Double whiz shot, whereas Dunn's cap requires two tiers at once diagonally, similar to the RU wizard tier pattern. And spectral tiers. Um Do you think this works with Is this gonna work with my little dude? I don't know. I'm just gonna go. So the Wiz uh, and Lilith. I don't know if these two items work together. Because there's like so many items in the game, they all like interact differently when you pick them up. I guess we try it. I mean, if it works, then we get like technically double double shell. Oh no! Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. Oh wait, no. Now we just shoot this way. Wait, can I drop ringworm? Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I'm really glad he killed himself. <laughs> that helped. Alright. Guys, we just gotta stand above our enemies a little bit. Probably. Yeah, alright, this is doable. This is doable. It's really, really weird. lot of pills. Uh, I'm gonna leave these pills here. See if there's a PhD in the shop. That'd be super nice. Okay. Um, well, that's not an option. Alright. Okay. Let's go see if we can get a PhD. Yeah, we can get a box, though. I don't know what that box does. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I know it's not the most exciting thing, but... Buddy in a box gives a random familiar. Oh, yeah. Oh, we gotta take random familiar with someone who can double their familiars, right? Oh, and he shoots straight. Look at this, guys. Eh? See? Now, now we got a plan. We shoot in every direction. How can we be stopped? I mean, we don't do a lot of damage in any direction. But, um... Nobody said we had to do that. That wasn't the balls of steel pill, was it? Hang on, I just want to check this one. Uh, no, they have one there. Gotta check. Don't be bad, Trip. One makes you small. Nice. Well, that's balls of steel. Luck down. That's annoying. 
I'm drowsy. Okay. I think we go for another one makes you smaller. It's worth a bomb to me. Yeah, we'll get super tiny. So hopefully... Yeah, we're like a familiar ourselves, actually. This is a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, do these ever go down? No. That's okay. Waste the bomb. Technically, it's not a waste, because... I was going to say, maybe we get a bomb out of this. Maybe we get a little bit screwed. That's okay. We still got three pennies. Oh. Should have just kept running, but it's okay. And since we don't have health anymore, it's impossible for us not to get a devil room. Um, also, oh man, <laughs> this this is uh, this is a run. This is interesting. Oh, we had a Yoshi. That's cute. What does he do? Oh, he shoots like piercing tears or something. Yeah, I think, I think the Yoshi's got like little shadowy piercing tears. Which is handy, because um, shots aren't going through these enemies, which is a little annoying. Oh, get him. No. Oh, shit. It, it, this is so fucking hard. Especially when you're getting pushed around. Um, no. We definitely want to check out the curse room at some point. Yeah, I'm not really sure what type of tier he's firing. It might just have a like a different effect. Uh, I don't think it's actually piercing. It's okay. And if we can, oh, if we if we can sit on top of them like that, that'll do it. I forget how much health we have, so I'm not sure I want to brave the curse room. We also desperately want a health up item just so we can get another devil deal for just a health up. Because we really want to get our complete guppy. Looks like it homes slightly. Yeah, it looks like it slows down randomly. Doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I can't safely make this. A little too slow. And hey, Dino9599, seen you around before. How you doing? Uh, that's the Pokeball. It's really depressing, actually. It's like, I don't know, I think it's kind of a shit item. But, like, I think it's kind of a shit item. Wait, does it work on these? What the fuck? No way it works on those. Nah, it didn't. Oh, that's cool, dude. I'm not going to be staying up too much longer myself. It's, um... It's like almost 6 a.m. But, I mean, I'm just having, having a good time. I'm riding the high, you know? <laughs> oh, God. Like, this is... This is some fun. And I like that. I like runs that are full of some fun. Uh, not so much that. Pestilence. You gotta, you gotta chill, dude! I got nowhere I can move. You're lucky I'm really small. Uh, I don't know if I survive going into the first room right now. Zero idea what my health is. No, I. D oh yeah. Well, that was a 50% chance at an extra life. So I mean, this is this is the run, sadly. It's too bad, it's an interesting one. Uh, I think I'll be down to try this character again. Definitely remember, do not get the dunce cap. But we didn't know what it did, really, so... I mean, we googled it, but we didn't really know what it did. Yeah, this is really rough. I wonder if people actually play the game like this. It's like the entire game is designed around firing head-on, not at angles. So, uh, 
Like, I don't think any of the encounters are intended for this. I wonder if there's a couple bosses that are, like, a lot easier because of it. But I would imagine, on average, it's, it's probably the opposite. Right, most bosses are harder because you can't, uh... Like, you're meant to go diagonal to dodge attacks. You know what I mean? You lose that option. Oh. Imagine if we got Guppy, boys. Imagine. Hey. Or speed it. That'd be cool. Maybe like this. Hey, speed's a little, a little low. I don't know much of anything about this game. Oh man, we just uh, just explained it, Mr. Grinch. So it's like it's a dungeon crawler and a twin six shooter, and um, you get random items and you do stuff. Okay. Uh, we didn't get our devil. That's all right. We can go through a curse room though, which is nice. And we're going to just in case we get Guppy. Fun. If we don't get Guppy, we probably lose the run here, but that's all right. Son of a bitch. I mean, those could be good. You can get the Joker, which will get us new Duffy. Sun Arrow Walk. What the fuck? No idea what that does. Let us give it a goog. Arrow Walk is a one-use item. Slow down all enemies and Isaac's tears. Oh, no. It slows down enemies and speeds Isaac up. Eh, seems not very good. The sun is a full heal and damages the room. Um, doesn't crazy help because we only have... Yeah, we just got like one health right now. Literally one HP. And we also only got one bomb, huh? All right, I guess we'll save it. Look for a soul rock. Try and get some, uh, some health. Please send help, game. Give me some. I see. We have like a cute little wizard companion. This oh, I'm dead. Oh, what the fuck? I revived again? What? Is it just a 50% chance every time? That's insane. I was pretty sure it was only a 50% chance of you, like, coming back once. Hmm. So, one hit we die. Presumably. If I can get this little wizard guy up here, I feel better. I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and his shots, I think, make enemies drop money. Which is kind of great, actually. Yeah, nice. Okay, that random familiar is putting in some work. Here we go. Just sit here, shoot around the corner. Be cheap, I like it. Talk to me, game. Uh huh. I mean, attack fly is decent. It actually does a lot of damage. What the fuck is going on here? Is this broken? I'm not supposed to revive every time. Like, I, I've never even had Guppy's Caller revive me once in the past. And this is probably why, like, it's, it's saved up. Holy shit, okay. The game has been waiting years to give me all of my lives at once. I'll take it. I mean, this run needs all the help it can get. Let's get real here. Huh. Uh, curse Room has a 50% chance to kill me. <laughs> no, it's, it's definitely going to. Um, we could have got me in there, which is exciting. 
tons of cash, man. It's gonna be greed in the shop too. Like you just know it, right? I'm gonna get there and it's just oh shit, this room. Oh shit. Do we sun card? Oh, I can dodge, I can dodge it. Dodge it. I didn't actually think I could dodge it, but I could. I was just saying that because I wanted you guys to like, you know, get excited. Be like, ooh. We got, uh, we got the big plays. He's not going to instantly die in this room. But somehow I did not. Uh, so that's, that's cool. Oh, shit. I need, I need a shop game. Okay. Okay. Good start. Good start. Give me the shop. I can work with that. We're going to stand behind this mushroom. Use it like cover. Oh, he's, he's coming in on us. Nice. Shit, careful. And one hit is death, boys. Shop? Okay. Okay, it's not greed. Uh, map? Well, putting money in the donation box is, um... Okay, <laughs> we gotta buy that. Let's not even pretend for a second. Uh, is the blue map the one that just shows the level layout? Because I don't care about that, really. Um... Shows the locations of the secret and super secret room. We only have two bombs, though. I mean, those rooms could be good. Probably not. But they, I mean, they do have the chance to. I mean, if we can just keep hitting guys with this and, and also dodging every attack. I mean, we can keep getting money with our little fellow. That's working out. <laughs> I might need to buy that map, actually. Yeah, let's, let's buy it. Okay, one's right here. That's handy. Uh, okay, that's useless. Like, I'm pretty sure that actually has no effect. Unless it re-rolls the shop. That'd be cool if it re-rolled the shop from here. Like, if we hit it and then went back in the shop. I'm not going to try it because I don't have the, the bombs for it. Um, we might try paying. Before we leave. Oh, this room is... This room is hell. This is hell room. We've got to blow stuff up when we're not near them. Fuck! No! Money. Okay, let's let's try buying it. Oh, we can get in here too, actually. Huh? Oh. How do I know when it works? Like in here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think it does me. I don't know. Maybe we just put our money away. Place safe. We need to get this up anyway at some point. There's options. Cool. Man, how much can you donate? It used to normally break after like six coins. Okay, we'll keep a little bit on us just so we have some uh, some cash in case we, we do survive. Which we might. There's the super secret room. We can go check that out. This is some hell. I wonder if it duplicates your attack fly. That'd be really cool, actually. Seems like it'd probably be, like, overpowered. Nice! Alright, well, there you go. So that map's paid off. It's gone and paid itself off. See, we're not done yet, guys. We're not... This isn't over. You think it might be, but no. I really want to check the curse room, but it doesn't make sense to do it now. It makes sense to go for the boss first if we can. Because I'm really, I'm praying. I'm just holding on that that curse, that that curse room is going to give us Guppy. You know what? I mean? Oh, shit. Okay, well, we didn't die. Bonus. We can get Guppy, guys. <laughs> like, if we can get Guppy, like, we probably still lose. But, I mean... 
Whatever. Oh, okay. Alright, calm down. Okay. Oh, we can't damage the ball. Oh, I see. Okay, that's how that mechanic works. Okay. We can't damage little ball things. So we have to somehow shoot through them. Which I'm sure is difficult when you don't have 10,000 familiars. But when you do, and they all shoot shit in stupid directions, I mean, this fight is hell. Thankfully, the game just gave it to us. There's a health up. We gotta do it, man. This run's not looking good. We need Guppy. It'll give us flight, and it'll give us... Um... Guppy! One so far. Well... Yeah, that happens. Uh, wait, what's in the cursed uh, Colosseum? Because I do have a sun card. I can use that if we need to panic. Because healing one heart is not going to... Oh, shit. That's interesting. Definitely not going to do it. But it's interesting. I don't know how far I can get this. I'm hoping we can at least touch the foot. Just touch it. That's not happening. Oh god, we're so far off. Oh. Okay, that, that kind of screwed me. But again, it's, it's really hard to control. Like, you have to... Oh god, we have an ass baby who shoots bombs now. Uh, yeah. Does he always shoot bombs? Is it random? Like, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. They build up and then explode. All right. So if he hits, is that what happens? If he hits, they. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ass baby seems solid. I like. Him. Oh, it seems like it's not every time though. Other one makes you small, yeah, I don't mind if I do. In... I kinda want a sun card here. Yeah, sorry, that's just one of those rooms. I was not making it through that. Shears, that cuts your head off, right? Just an active item. Um, that looks good. What does it do though? Telekinesis power. Oh, probably pushes pushes shots away from you. Let's see if we can buy something better. A razor. Oh, we got yes, mother. Okay, good. Now I have an ass knife. Uh, that's handy. Anyone can tell you ass knife is fine. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, we tried. That was one hell of a run, anyway. All right, guys. Well, uh, I'm off for the evening. Y'all take it easy. Have a nice night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully earlier than I was tonight. Tonight was a little late, but that's okay. Take it easy, folks.